Hello everyone, so I'm Sir Jess and welcome again to Sir Jess channel. So today we're going to discuss the illustration of an antiderivative of a function. So for your information, this is this video is based on the SDO or the SDO Palawan uh, initiate uh, self-learning modules, alright? And Today, we're going to compute the general, general antiderivative of polynomial, radical, exponential, and trigonometric functions. Alright? Or we could say algebraic. Now, let's have, a, or let's review yung theorems on antidifferentiation. So, we have integral of dx is equal to x plus c. If we have integral of x raised to n dx, we have x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. And if a is any constant, kung meron constant, let's say integral of a, a f of x dx, we have to copy a first outside the integral f of x dx. And if we have two functions or, or more, which are separated by a plus or minus sign, then we will just separate them. So each, so we have integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx is equal to integral of f of x dx plus or minus integral of g of x dx. All right. So let's have an example. Okay, we have number one, integral 3 dx. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we will just copy first yung ating constant and then we have dx and we know that integral dx is actually equal to x na lang so we have x plus c so this is the answer let's have number 2 we have integral of x raised to 6 dx and Okay, using the anti-differentiation formula, we have to add 1 to, to 6, so 6 plus 1, that is 7, and the resulting value or the sum will be our denominator also. So this is the answer. Next, we have the integral of x raised to 6, integral of 1 over x raised to 6 dx. Okay. So, hindi natin to ma evaluate o ma integrate agad. Kailangan mo natin tong i-change into power. So this becomes integral of x raised to negative 6 dx. Okay? Bas ito sa ating pong law of exponent that sa law of exponent That whenever we have x raised to negative n or a negative power, this is actually equal to 1 over x raised to n. Right? So, ito yung form niya. And kailangan natin ilipat dahil nga po, wala tayong rules on ating differentiation na bibigay ng paano kapag ang ating power nasa iba. So, kailangan mo natin siyang i-change into a power para maging, para masolve natin mas madali. Alright, so since meron na tayong x raised to negative 6, gagawin na natin, kailangan natin itong i-integrate. So we have negative 6 plus 1 over, over negative 6 plus 1 plus c. And that would give us x raised to negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5 over negative 5 plus c. And this is not yet the final answer. So kailangan natin gawin... Kailangan natin siyang standard form. So, paano yun? Siyempre, gaya nga sinabi ko kanina, using our law of exponent, no? if we have a negative power, kailangan natin ibaba lang yung ating, negative, yung ating power na yun, yung ating buong term. And we have a numerator 1. So, in this case, we have 
1 over negative 5 x raised to 5 plus c. Okay? So, yung negative power na to, yung buo na to, ibinaba ko lang sa ating denominator. Kaya naging x, uh, negative 5 x raised to 5. Okay? So, you can actually have or 1 over neg uh, 1 over 5x raised to 5 plus c. So, this is our answer. Let's have number 4. So, we have the integral of 4 square root of u du. So, this time, ang variable natin ay u instead of x. Okay? So, okay lang yun. And, dapat ito ay nasa labas. Dapat ito. Yung ating du. Okay. So, this becomes 4 integral, integral of square root of u du. Now, alam natin na wala po tayong theorem na automatic po magbibigay sa atin ng sagot kapag meron tayong radical number. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, we will have to change, ganyan yung ginawa natin kayo na dito sa so number 3, we're going to change this into a power. So, alam natin na ang square root ng u is actually equal to u raised to 1 half. Bakit? Kasi ang index po nito ay 2 and ang ating pong power dito sa u ay 1. So, u raised to 1 half. So, kapag meron kang cube root of u, that would give us u raised to 1 third. So on. Right? So, this time we have 4 integral of u raised to 1 half du. Okay. And pwede na po tayong gumamit ng ating theorem kasi nakapower na to. So, we have 4 u raised to 1 half mag-add tayo ng 1 at kung ano daw ang result noon or yung sum noon that would be our denominator plus c. Alright. So, we have 4 u raised to 1 half plus 1 is actually u raised to 3 halves over 3 halves plus c. So, this would give us 4. Ano ba ang 4 divided by 3 halves? Okay, so, you can use the cross multiplication. So, we have 4 times 2. That would give us 8 over 3 times 1 is 3. So, we have 8 thirds. U raised to 3 halves plus E. Okay? So, our answer is 8 thirds U raised to 3 halves plus C or meron mga teacher na hindi na matanggap niyan. Okay? Gusto nilang ibalik pa rin sa ano? Sa radical form. So, this would give us a thirds cube root ah oh sorry square root of u cube plus c okay so they are the same alright 